Hello, my beautiful hair lounge community. Welcome back to the hair lounge. My name's Angelina and I'm a licensed stylist. Today I want to show you how to use a curling wand and a three barrel waver to achieve super fun, beachy, textured curls. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. First, let's talk about the tools that we're gonna use to achieve this look. Many of you may have already watched my three barrel waver tutorial. If you haven't, click this link up here and it'll take you to that video, but we're gonna use that one today. I already have it warmed up and heated for us. Then I'm gonna tell you about my new curling wand. I had a company reach out to me called Duval and they wanted to give me a curling wand or a flat iron to show my hair lounge community. I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. This is just me doing a tutorial on their curling wand that I have not used before. So look at how pretty it is. Look at hot pink, the black barrel. It does have a swivel cord, which is super easy whenever you're wrapping it around your hair. It also comes with a glove. Because if anybody's used a curling wand before, it's very easy to burn your hand whenever you're doing it. One really awesome thing that they were able to do for me is you guys, if you wanna buy these tools at all, you can get 70% off by going down in the description box below and I have a code down there for you if you want to get your own curling wand or like I said, they do also have flat irons. Today I'm using the 25 millimeter curling wand. That way you kind of have an idea of the one that I chose and how tight you want your curls to be. All right, let's get into the tutorial. As always, you wanna make sure you are protecting your hair. So I am going to use Joyco's thermal protecting spray and we're going to spray it all over. Let me take my hair out. And you just want to make sure you're coating your hair evenly. Then you will also need a butterfly clip to clip it up. We're going to leave probably about a half an inch down in the back and that's where we're going to start. So for this look, the reason why I'm going to alternate between the three barrel waver and the curling wand is so you have a lot of texture in there. You have kind of different variations of curls and so you're gonna get a lot more volume and a lot more of a PC look to your beachy waves. So I'm going to start with my three barrel waver. You can start with whatever one you want just my hair at the bottom is a little bit shorter, so using a curling wand, it might be a little bit harder. And depending on how tight or how curled you want your hair will determine how long you leave this three barrel waver in your hair. I do always listen to all your guys' comments and I had a few people say that they didn't like it because it didn't look as curled. So I am going to leave it in longer this time so that way I have more of the wave to it and it's a little less frizzy. We're gonna do this right side. And as always, if you guys have not subscribed, now is a perfect time to hit that red subscribe button. And one really awesome feature is if you want notified when I upload a new video, click that bell and it'll send you a notification that my new video has been uploaded. So we are just doing this all the way through out my hair. As you can see this front section. I didn't leave it in quite long enough. We're going to do a little bit longer so it has a little bit more wave to it. So now we have a little bit more wave. Now on our next section is where we're going to use that curling wand. Leave me a comment down below if you have ever used a curling wand on your own hair. And if you have, 
Tell me what you love about the curling wand. I'll tell you, I like curling wands because you are able to create different types of curls with it compared to a curling iron. With a curling iron, you have a clamp, and with a curling wand, the, the waves are a little bit looser, which is why I chose the smaller of the curling wands because I can use bigger sections. The curls are not gonna look as tight, which is really nice because you can vary your curls based off of your sectioning. Okay, as always, if you've watched any of my videos, I always like the hair around the face to be curled away from the face. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So with the curling wand, you want it to always be facing straight down and that's how you're going to be able to get the hair to lay nicely on your wand. You start in, put the hair closer up towards the top, and then you are just going to wrap it around the wand. One nice thing with curling wands is you have to hold on to the end of that hair, so that's going to leave the ends straighter, which is kind of the look that all the girls are wearing right now, and so it gives you a more of like a lived-in look. So we're just gonna hold it on there and pull it out. As you can see, there is that curl. So it's obviously very different than the beach wave, which is awesome because you're gonna get a lot of texture and it's gonna look more of like a natural, natural texture on someone who has waves to their hair because no curl is the same on someone who has curly hair. Now we're just gonna move on to our next section. Doing exactly the same thing, but now we're gonna curl it towards our face. So hold it in and then wrap it toward your face around that curling wand. Depending on how fine your hair is, if your hair is finer, you don't wanna leave it on the wand as long. If your hair is thicker and it doesn't hold curl very well, you might need to leave it on the wand a little bit longer. Okay, there's our next section. Now we're gonna move on to this right side, doing exactly the same thing on the right as we did the left. So we have our wand curls in there, and I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see the difference of the curls. So this one is where we did the wand, and it's a lot tighter and fuller. And then this is more of a stretch out wave. And so whenever we finish with doing the whole head, it's going to have those variations of curls, which is super, super pretty. Okay, let's move on to our next section. And if at all you guys are enjoying what you see, give this video a thumbs up so you do not forget at the very end. Now it's all about the three barrel waver. And just want you guys to notice, the longer you leave it in, that's where you get those more defined waves. If you do not want them to be super defined like that, just do not hold it on your hair as long. Now we're moving on to the curling wand. Again, as always, everything by the face, curl away. And I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. So if you do not want your curls to be super tight or bouncy looking, make sure when you are putting it on your wand, all the hair is spread out. So see how it's all spread out along the thing. If you bunch it together like this and wrap it around that way, you're gonna get a tighter, kind of more bouncy curl. So I'll show you that. So we're gonna spread it out and kind of smooth those little flyaways around the face by just rubbing the curling wand down that section. And then you're gonna take it on the hair and keep it spread out along the wand. Not bunching it and keeping it spread out along that wand shaft. Still bouncy curls, but now I'm gonna show you if you wrap it around the curling wand and you keep your section tighter. 
See, I'm kind of like twisting it and it's all kind of bunched up on top of itself. Get a little closer so you can see. See how it's a little bit fuller on there and it's not flat up against the wand? I'll show you the curls that it creates if you do that. So if you look at the difference, this is a little bit more spread out, that curl is, and this one has a lot more spiral look to it and it's a little bit tighter looking. You can see the difference of those two curls. So depending on the type of curl you want, if you wanted a little bit more spread out and a little flatter looking, make sure you keep that section wide, the same section um, width on the actual rod. If you want it to be a little bit tighter and a little bit more bouncy, then hold that section super tight and lay it on top of itself. So hopefully that explains a little, little bit better for you guys. So you can kind of see the difference of the curls. Now I'm gonna go back over and recurl this guy. Having it be flatter and laying on that rod a little bit flatter than keeping it super tight. And then you get more of a spread out curl. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the rest of your wand curls. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the three barrel waiver. So now we're gonna move on to my bang section. And I'm going to use the curling wand to curl this section, just so I have a little bit more control of where my bangs are going and to kind of get them to lay the way I want. So I'm gonna separate this in half. One really nice thing with the curling wand is you can just take the wand and rub it up and down, kind of like I was showing you before, just to smooth out those sections to get it to lay the way that you want it. And then like I said, you don't really have to leave it there for super long, just enough to get a little bit of a bend for it to go to the side that you want. To get kind of that volume at the roots, you can just lift up that section, hold it underneath there, and kind of run your curling wand up and down so then you can get that volume up at the top. And then curl kind of the ends back into the rest of the hair. And then we'll grab this next section, doing exactly the same thing, kind of getting that root area looking nicely, get the flyaways to lay down. So then you get a little bit more volume up through that top. Okay, so this is kind of what we're looking like. Okay, this guy's a little crazy, let's fix that. So then once you get majority of it looking the way that you want, you can go through with your product now. So hairspray, I do like to use super skinny or any kind of oil to kind of help separate but without frizzing out the wave that we just put in there. Or you can also use pomade, wax, anything like that. So let me grab those products. So let's take our hairspray first. And this is just going to set our style before we run our hands through it. Then I'm gonna take my bonding oil, number seven by Olaplex. Again, a lot of these products that I'm using, I've done tutorials or how to's on them. So I'll put those up above, that way it's easy for you to find. Start underneath. So now we're gonna take our texture spray. Now I'm gonna stand up to do it because I'm gonna flip my hair upside down. And this texture spray is by Big and Sexy. This is their Play Dirty Texture Spray. Okay, now we're just gonna kinda place it where we want it. 
gives you tons of super, like I said, very big, full, textured curls into your hair, having the variation of the waver, the curling wand, and doing them in all different directions. So it looks like you literally have spent the whole day at the beach and you just let your hair air dry. Super fun, super flirty, very easy, doesn't take you any time at all. Just alternating between the beach waver or the three barrel waver and the curling wand. What do you guys think? So tons of texture. Let me kind of turn to the side so you can see. Very big and full textured curls. See, all it takes is knowing which tools you can use, and hey, sometimes you can even use two to achieve a different look on your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use a three barrel waver and this lovely curling wand by Deval. Again, don't forget, they gave you guys 70% off. That promo code is down in the description box below if you wanna get your very own. And as always, I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't yet, please hit that red subscribe button right now. And if you need any help or have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to guide you along doing this fun textured hairstyle. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.